According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development 2020 Wild Investment Report, foreign direct investment FDI flows in Zambia increased from 408 million US dollars in 2018 to 753 million US dollars in 2019. Some of the reasons that brought about the increase are existence of commodities like copper, which attracts mostly Chinese firms looking for a secure supply of commodities, and also the weak exchange rate in Zambia, which makes it cheaper for the multinationals to purchase assets in Zambia. However, the 2020-2021 FDI performance was low, and this has been attributed to COVID-19, as stated by the Minister of Commerce, Trade and Industry, Christopher Yaluma. Tell you off the cuff, I'm going to go and look at it. But last year it wasn't good because we didn't know this, what would be the, the, the impact of COVID onto our economy. So that slows it. But I think we are better off this year. But if we come to the end of the year, we'll be better off than what we did at this point in time last year because of COVID just brought in this fear which we didn't know. But we realized that COVID, instead of just spelling doom, They've brought in some spin-offs. We're trying to use the positives of COVID to just ensure that we, we, we benefit from the presence of COVID. So it's not just negative, but just come to change our own doing business. And we've accepted it to be running on side by side with ours as we do our business. So the minister is positive that Zambia's FDI performance will increase. So COVID or no COVID, business continues. But we do learn from what we experienced last year or what we're experiencing each day. We are making good use of that to prepare ourselves for the future. We've managed to put up the economic recovery program, which is good, which will send a signal to the foreign you know, uh, potential investors. That is a key. So I'll tell you, it will be better than what it was last year. Because we've, there's a lot of initiatives from the Ministry of Finance, there's a lot of initiatives from the private sector, you know, trying to ensure that the rules of the economy keep keeps on turning, you know. Some, you heard what they talked about, they're trying to prepare, they've prepared themselves, in fact, they've done a lot to protect the local industries. He was speaking in an exclusive interview with Movie TV at the launch of the revised National Intellectual Property Policy by PACRA at Taj Bamozi Hotel during the World Intellectual Property Day. <laughs>